Harry and Meghan will visit South Africa in the autumn, British High Commissioner confirms royal tour and jokes couple will boost the economy, because there'll be a hat and frock buying frenzy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are to visit South Africa in the autumn, the country's British High Commissioner today confirmed. Addressing journalists at the press conference in London this morning, Commissioner Nigel Casey confirmed that new parents Meghan and Harry will, as speculated, embark upon a royal tour of the Rainbow Nation later this year. High Commissioner Casey said the trip would be a short one. There has been speculation for a number of months that Harry and Meghan will visit a number of countries in southern Africa. Stops in Angola and Malawi also rumored to be on the agenda, although no details have been confirmed by the palace. It's unclear whether the couple's son Archie will travel with his parents or remain at home. Mr Casey told a press conference this morning that the royals were coming back to visit South Africa in the autumn. He joked, that's great news for us, and I predict it's also good news for the South African economy. I predict a hat and frock buying frenzy to rival Sona, the country's state of the nation address, which took place last Thursday, which could restore economic growth all on its own. We are hugely looking forward to that and thanks in anticipation for that and all the support that I know we're going to receive. He added, this a much shorter visit, they'll be here for a matter of days and not months. While it will be autumn in the UK, it will be springtime in the Southern Hemisphere. Mail Online has contacted Buckingham Palace for confirmation. The news comes after speculation that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will travel to Asia later in the year for a major official tour. It is understood the trip will focus on Commonwealth countries, meaning destinations might include Bangladesh, India, Malaysia, and Singapore. Sources believe there is a good chance of a visit to Sri Lanka, where a terror attack on Easter Sunday left at least 258 people dead, but less likelihood of a stop in Brunei which has attracted criticism for its human rights record. It is believed China was considered but was ruled out.